Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at the mock-up designs for this brief that we'll give in the previous video. Now if you haven't seen the brief then check out my last video in the previous you know the previous video on this course called how to break down the take home brief. Now we understand what we're going to be building because we've read through the brief now what we want to do is actually see what it is that we need to actually build so let's actually look at the mock-ups. So let's see what the interviewer wants us to build. So let's just open up our mockups as you can see on the screen here. And if you actually look at the screens, we're actually going to go through each screen on this design. Now at this point, what I'd be doing is actually looking at how the navigation between each one of these screens will work. So I'd be like connecting the dots between each one of these screens. We'll be working out what UI components that we'll need to use in SwiftUI to achieve our goals. So let's actually look at this now by using the Apple documentation later on in this video. And if you want to learn more about the Apple documentation, then check out my video in the SwiftUI sessions playlist called Breaking Down the Apple Human Interface Guidelines. So if we look at our screens here, we have four. So we have our people view, which I'm going to assume is our home view. We have our detail view, which I'm going to assume that you can access this by tapping on one of these. We also have our create view, which I'm going to assume you can create by, you know, access by tapping the plus button. And our settings view is just another view within our tab bar, as you can see here. So this looks pretty straightforward in terms of the navigation. Now, in terms of the components that we actually have on the screen here, so as you can see, we have a tab bar at the bottom here. So what we want to probably use here is a tab bar within Apple documentation. So we're going to make a note of that. We also have a bar at the top here. So in terms of getting this effect, we're going to need to use a navigation bar as well. So what I'd be doing here now is I'd actually be, you know, listing down what components and looking at the Apple documentation in terms of how I'm going to be actually building and what components I'll be using to tackle each one of these screens. So we've also got a list of people here and you can actually achieve this list by using a list in SwiftUI. So instead, what we're going to do is use a lazy V grid, which allows us to create columns in our design like so. So now we actually have a plan in terms of how we're going to tackle this screen here. Now move on to the next screen. You can see that we actually have a layout here where it's got like, you know, three different bits. So in this case, Rather than having a list, because it's actually not a lot of content and this is very static, what we're going to do instead here is we're going to use a VStack to lay out this content and we're going to use a link view because this is a link that actually opens up outside into Safari. We also have a form here where you can enter information. So we're going to use a form in SwiftUI and we also have a toggle here. So we're going to use a SwiftUI toggle view to help us achieve this effect within a form as well. Now, Looking at our final point here on our people view is that we actually have this layout like this little card design that we have here. Now we can easily achieve this by simply just using a V stack where we have an image. Now this image, we're going to use the new async image API available to us in iOS 15. And we're just going to use a V stack with some views to position it below. And if you actually zoom in, you'll notice as well, if you just zoom in, is that there's a bit of a shadow here around this rounded rectangle. So we're going to need to clip this with a rounded rectangle and apply a shadow onto this view. So now that we've actually looked at the design, we've kind of got a mental model in our head of how we're going to build this app. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're actually going to look at actually setting up our Xcode project and actually getting started with this take home test. Now that's everything in this video. If you really enjoyed this video, and you appreciate it. I'd love to hear your comment in the set comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, i really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.